Well, Jonathan Rosenberg, you're from Memorial Sloan Kettering. Tell me about your unit and what you're doing there first. So I focus on the treatment of advanced bladder cancer, developing novel therapies. Okay, and you've got a novel therapy here, a new monoclonal antibody, and it's an anti pdl one Tell me about that, please. Why did you, did you look at this checkpoint inhibition process? So in bladder cancer, we know that immune therapy has a long history of benefit in non-muscle invasive disease, where patients are treated with things like BCG. Um, and extending this into metastatic disease is a natural, uh, natural process. The phase 1A study that had been previously done with this drug atezolizumab showed dramatic responses in a subset of patients, and that laid the groundwork to pursue this phase two study. Now, this is for patients with locally advanced or metastatic urothelial cancers. What happened? How many were there in the study? So 311 patients were treated on the clinical trial. They had locally advanced or metastatic disease, and they all had to have had prior platinum chemotherapy. Uh, they had uh, all been required to submit tissue for pdl one testing up front, but the investigators and the patients weren't privy to the results. Uh, we did show that there was an increasing proportion of responders with higher pdl one expression levels, but that regardless, even in the absence of pdl one expression, you still saw responses. Right, so what was the size of the signal to this new drug, the anti pdl one drug, and how much did that differ when you got the biomarker indicating sensitivity? So all comers, 15% of patients had objective responses. And historically in bladder cancer, chemotherapy in a heavily pretreated population works in 5 to 10% of patients. So this is, even at that level, is an improvement. And when you have a high level of pdl one expression, you had 27% of confirmed objective responses. Okay, could you put that into clinical context for me in the potential use of this new drug by cancer doctors. So this is a relatively non-toxic treatment for a treatment pop for a patient population that's quite frail, that doesn't have a lot of options. In fact, there's no approved drugs outside of the EU for advanced bladder cancer after failure of platinum therapies. And so regardless of your PDL1 status, people did respond, but there were more of them that in the PDL1 positive population. I think as time goes on and the data matures, we'll get a better sense because many of the patients who might still be able to respond haven't yet responded. And so these numbers may actually go up over time. So what should doctors be taking home from this right now? So we have shown that this is an active drug in advanced bladder cancer. This was a second, third, fourth, and fifth line study. And so even though the response rates are on the lower end, um, we still think that this is a highly active agent in a very heavily pretreated population. And I think it's likely to lead to a drug approval in the next several years. Thank you very much. Thank you.